Hi everybody and thank you for joining me today and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you would please hit the subscribe button and um, hopefully today will give you some positive inspiration. Um, if you're feeling, you know, low and down about life um, <clears throat> or just having really hard, difficult times. So, um, yesterday I was on my way to work and normally when I leave my, uh, parents' house after I drop my, uh, son off, um, I play my music and because music, I just love music. It, it gets me through so much, but today, uh, or yesterday I didn't play my music. I just went down the street and, um, it was silent. So then I literally get down the street and around the corner and like not even a minute later I hear a thump and I'm, it's not normal and I'm like, what is that? And, um, and so I stop and I'm like, something's wrong. So let me check out the car. So I stop and, um, I look uh, on my tires, and um, the very last one that I looked, my back tire had a nail in it, like a nail about that big, but it was stuck in there, and it was leaking out, so my, if I didn't notice my uh, tire had the nail in it, I would have kept on going down the road, and I probably would have gotten a flat on the highway and spun out, and who knows? what would have happened, but I'm very glad that I was able to find it right then and there. So I was right at the house and I was able to, um, get the tire, uh, put a donut on the tire and I was able to go to work with the donut. And the crazy part about this was that like a week and couple days ago, like a week and four or something days ago, I got an, a, another nail stuck in my tire, but a different tire. It was a front one. And um, I was going to the same locations. I, I was driving the same way I always do. And, you know, I just kept on hitting these nails. And like a um, couple months before that, I was working um, and I got another nail stuck in my tire, a different tire, same kind of nail. And so, um, my luck, and I've never had this happen before in my life. So many nails in my tire all at once, especially when I just do the same route pretty much all of the time. Um, so, so I'm, you know, I was getting really discouraged. I was like, why does this all keep on happening to me? This is crazy because I can't afford to keep on getting new tires that just, you know, are, they're expensive. Tires are super expensive. And even if you get a discount, some of them you, you can't patch up. And so I'm just like, I can't afford this. I'm tired. I need to work. I need, you know, I need a break. Like what is going on? So, so, um, after, you know, we got the donut on and everything, um, I was going down the highway, and wh when you have a donut on your car, you can't go the speed limit. Um, so I was going about 40, 45, um, and I was in the slow lane, had my hazards on, letting everybody know that I am can't go that fast, so don't be mean like people like to do, and, you know, go around me simple, right? When you see somebody in, you know, that has their hazards on, you don't make a big deal about it. You're just like, okay, well, there's something going on with their car. Just go around. But that was not the case. <laughs> so I'm going down the highway, have all this stuff going on and people keep on like flashing their lights at me and they're being really, really rude. And they're literally speeding like even faster than the speed limit. And this one dude, he almost hits me. And 
he's like, he literally was going way, and I was on the slow lane, okay? He was going way faster than the speed limit, and he got this close to me and started swerving and almost spun out. And I was like, are you kidding me? You already see that I have my hazards on. I'm going slower. Everybody else is going around me. Why are you trying to like danger our lives? It was just ridiculous. I could not believe how many people were so ignorant about it. Like they'd never seen that happen. They didn't know what to do. So I was, I was stressed. I was irritated. I was just like, what is going on? People are just like being ridiculous. And, um, so yeah, that was not the greatest, um, time right there. (laughs) And so Yeah, so I was like, when I got to work, I was, you know, just about to blow up. I was so tired of everybody on the road. Like, people just did not get it. People did not understand why, you know, when somebody has their hazards on, there's something wrong. It's not because I just want to have my hazards on. Like, no, nobody just drives with their hazards on, like, down the road for fun. Come on, people. Get with the program. (laughs) So... I finally get to work and I'm fuming because all of these people are like just crazy. And I'm like, I'm going off and I'm like, oh my God, these people are blah, 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 blah. And I am like, I'm about to have a nervous breakdown because that's what happens when I get super, super emotional and I can't control um, my thoughts and feelings. And so I was like, I need a break. I need to go into my car. And I put Joyce Myers on. And I am not a religious person. I don't go to church. I don't, um, I believe that they're, you know, I believe what I believe. So let's just put it that way because we all believe what we believe. Um, so um, I've been listening to her when things get tough and her messages are really inspiring and they have, you know, um, made me think a lot about, you know, my thoughts and actions and, you know, um, you bring out what you think. So like if you're in an angry mood, upset, uh, sad or whatever, you, your vibration brings that out to people around you, to the atmosphere around you. And that's what you attract. So because I was feeling upset, mad, angry, confused, just had it, I was done. That's why all of those negative people came into my lane and were acting like that because of um, how I was feeling. And um, there is science behind all of this, so I'm not crazy. Um, so I get to work and I'm like, I need to calm down. And I listened to her and all this stuff and I was like, okay, I feel a little better. I can do this. So I, you know, take my deliveries and I'm going slow and stuff like that. And I'm in town, so I don't have to go that far. But these people, I'm trying to calm myself and these people keep on just acting crazy and acting like they don't know what to do. (laughs) And so I'm trying to hold myself together. And I'm just like, what is going on? I'm trying to like not freak out and, and like be like, okay, it's not the end of the world, you know, try to control myself. These people apparently don't understand. So, you know, it's, it's not my fault. It's their fault. So it it was like that for the whole day, you know, so I, I just kept on chugging, kept on doing what I needed to do. And, you know, I was just like, it was hard, very, very hard, especially since All of this stuff has been piling up and piling up and piling up for months, probably for years because I've, this is, I've been dealing with this for years, my whole life. Like I've been feeling like this. Um, so, so I keep on going back to Joyce Meyer videos every time I need like some inspiration and, um, and then it gets like nighttime and, um, I'm talking to one of my coworkers and she, um, you know, she starts talking about, you know, uh, her life and all this stuff. And, um, and we have so many things in common. And so I was like, wow, 
you know, maybe this is the uh, break that I needed to talk to somebody else that, you know, was positive and that is, you know, has gone through the same struggles that I have gone. So, um, so we start talking and I'm like, like, I want to know more. Tell me more. Wow. This is so inspiring. Like, like, I want to help you. I know where you're coming from. Like, I've done the same thing. Like, wow. What are you like my sister or something? Cause we had so much in common and I've never had that much in common with anybody. I always felt like I was the outcast that all of this stuff only happened to me. And why was I going through all this bad stuff? Why did I have to have all this hardship, all this like craziness in my life that made me, you know, anxious and stressed and angry and hostile and, you know, it just really messed me up. And so, um, and then, you know, just talking to her calmed me down. I was like, wow, you know, I'm not the only one going through crazy stuff. And, you know, this tire is not the end of the world. You know, I can get over this. Just because this happened today and this happened, you know, last week and a couple of months before doesn't mean it's going to happen for every day for the rest of my life. I hope it doesn't because I was praying. I was like, no more flat tires. No more nails in my tires. No, no, I can't have this happen. No more nails in my tires. I was literally doing that the whole day. And so um, when I took one of my last deliveries, I was just like, I was, you know, just talking to God I was just like you know I know that you've gotten me through some really tough times and I've been struggling lately even more and I just need you to help me out and get me through the rest of this night because it's been horrible and I need some positive positivity in my life and so I kept on doing this the whole time I was uh, going to my next delivery I was like please be with me I'm scared I'm like hopeful I'm hopeless. I don't know what else to think, you know? And so, and all I want to do is help other people that have been struggling and in the same boat that I have been. So, you know, so I was talking to him and I'm like, I know that I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to help other people, even though I sometimes can't deal with my own situations and my own thoughts. You know, I'm a perfect example of why I need to help other people because of my struggles that I've gone through my whole life. And it just like, I kept on repeating that and repeating that and just like talking and talking and talking. I was like, I know that I'm more powerful than I let myself on to be. I don't give myself enough credit. I put myself down too much. I'm always thinking negatively, you know, just give me some positive, positively be, uh, be with me tonight. Don't let, you know, another nail get stuck in my tire, you know, let all this, all these bad people like just melt away. I don't want to think about any of this. You know, I just want to focus on the good. And as I was talking to him, I already felt a lot better. Like it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulder and I could breathe and I haven't been able to like breathe like that for a while (laughs) like I'm talking about for months a long time and um so I was like okay this is my last delivery like I can do this and um and I'm and you know financially I'm struggling and you know I'm doing I feel like I'm doing everything all by myself and I don't ever get a break I don't ever get to have my time and find my peace I'm doing it for everybody else And so I'm just like, I just need something, you know, I need help, I need support, and, you know, I need things to change because I'm trying my hardest, and, you know, it's hard. It is hard. For us women, it is so hard, and I don't care what anybody says. It is, I respect every woman out there for just being here on earth. Because we go through so much crap every day for nothing. We will literally be judged for what we wear, how we say things, what we do, what we look like, and what, you know, everything. And that is not okay. That is not the life that I want to be in. 
So I really respect women all everywhere more than anybody else. And no, that is not sexist of me to say because I have had some horrible times with dudes. But I digress. So, um, so at the end of the night, you know, I was feeling a lot better and um, I was able to make it home and um, I was, I made more money um, in working about seven, seven or eight hours than I did working at, um, working at my previous jobs for, you know, the same amount of time. So it was just crazy to me that, you know, even if you're not a religious person or, you know, you're just getting into all of that, that it doesn't matter what your uh, level, your spiritual level is, just, um, just do what you need to do to get through what you need to get through and everything will be okay. So I hope this helps um, anybody who is struggling and I hope you find inspiration especially the mamas out there who are balancing everything all by themselves. It's, it's a challenge, and I really respect you guys. So have a good night, and I will see you guys later. God bless you.